Hey fam, um, so I just wanted to quickly do this vlog with y'all. I know it's late, so I'm gonna make it really quick, I promise. I'm pretty sure you guys watched my last two vlogs where I, you know, I described obviously this demon that was trying to possess me, um, and basically pretty much just taking over my life. And it was trying to basically destroy my marriage, destroy my, my kids, um, because of the awful things it was asking me to do, um, number one, and number two, you know, just that trauma alone, I think that in of itself was enough to save me because I knew deep down in my heart that's not something that I wanted to see my, you know, my husband or any of my kids go through. That's that's something that nobody deserves. Y'all know, you know, you know what I mean? Um, but to sum things up, um, it's an ongoing battle. Spiritual warfare is absolutely real. Now, here's the one thing that I will tell you. If you are um, married or if you are in a romantic relationship and you don't have the presence of God covering you, it doesn't matter if it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife. If you are not spiritually equipped to fight these things off, you know, it's, it is, um, it, it's easier for these entities to... Uh, use you as a footstone to ruin your relationship with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, your husband, wife. Um, and I'm telling you from my own experience, you guys have seen it on my vlogs from day to day. Um, you know, I, I'm practically walking you guys what I'm going through. As a matter of fact, I had the most absurd fucking afternoon, y'all, because, you know, I went to the dollar store down the street from where I live. And check this out. I was perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden, I get in the car, I find out that I I think he's my brother-in-law. I think my sister-in-law either is engaged to him or planning to get married to him. I don't freaking know. I just know that we're family. But anyways, so he called and um, I would swear that he was like saying to my husband, oh, yeah, come with me so that you can get away from your wife. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't even I don't even be doing nothing like for him to be even talking like that to start with. Like, yeah, you know, I'm sure we all have those moments where we're like annoying as hell. Or, you know, where we're just kind of just pissy or whatever. But, um, you know, I, nothing like this outside of the norm, if that makes sense. And so I'm like, what the fuck? You know, so I got pretty pissed off at that. And I was like, and I'm thinking to myself, like, what the fuck? You know, this is just, this is just not right. And so I get home, we're like at it for like, I don't even know how long. And then eventually just kind of got to this point where I'm like, ugh, like, you know, lethargic there. And, um, you know, you go, you know, we went up to my room, you know, we were talking for like almost an hour and a half and finally things kind of subsided and God brought us to our senses, you know, but that just goes to show you guys that when you are truly children of God and you're a son or a daughter, he'll save you out of the most messed up situations. And that's where the true miracles and blessings really do begin. And believe me, you guys can block your blessings. So if you're just uh, dating in the everyday world, and it, it doesn't even matter if you're in junior high, high school, college, what the hell ever. Because if you're just dating and you have the intention of leaving that person that you're dating, that's going to be considered a sin. It's considered adultery. So if you are in college or high school and you have a boyfriend and say you find another cute guy that you like and you just so happen to you know hit it off with him and y'all start talking at the same time as being with this other person that's committing a sin and it's committing adultery because even if you are in a romantic relationship and you're not married or engaged you are supposed to honor that person regardless you're not supposed to go around hooking up with another and the same thing with guys the same thing with men I don't care what, if you're in grade school or if you're in college. You got a partner that you involved with. You're supposed to stay only with that partner no matter what challenges you come your way. Period. Uh, you know, even if these men try to go see multiple women, it's still considered adultery. It's still considered and will be seen as a sin. And that's what all of you people of the world don't really realize. Y'all are so stuck in trying to fit into what society wants of you. But you're not stepping aside to see what really needs to take place. Y'all y'all feel me? But how does that pertain to my story? It's, it really doesn't. But I'm letting y'all know the way God ordained things and how he wants it to be. 
romantically because I feel like a lot of you young people be giving yourselves out way too soon without thinking about those consequences and sex is not something to take lightly so if y'all talking about you know having your cherry popped and this this and that and for you guys y'all giving it out like it's a handout y'all gotta stop with all that because it ain't something to take lightly you know adultery and sin is sin you know there's no going around it y'all gotta repent of that and it ain't something to be bragging about that you got a side chick, a side piece of what the hell ever you want to call it. Because you millennials know nothing. Period. The sanctity and covenant of marriage is sacred. So remember that. And the longer you...